Hi guys, hope you're doing well. Today we're heading to Pistinello. First we've got to swap over the cars and then I'm heading off to lunch with my lovely daughter and her boyfriend F. A few things to discuss with her. She's going to be starting university. She's just given me the fees, <laughs> which I'm going to go over with you later. And also an interesting comment I had from um, a, a guy who also has a daughter here and she went through some horrific racism. And I just need to bring that up with Annie because I haven't really discussed it with her. She's always kind of said everything's fine, it's okay. And I've always seen Ty's holding her up on quite a high pedestal. So yeah, we're gonna head off to Pistolo, have some lunch, and uh, see what we get up to. Right, we've been in a traffic jam for the past 20 minutes and this is the reason. Not surprising, everyone's driving so close. The thing is they don't move the cars. They're in the fast lane, they have to wait for the insurance companies to turn up. It's caused an absolute mayhem. Right, I need a break from these crazy roads. There's been some insane driving going on. So we're gonna stop at my favorite petrol station. And if you ever have to stop in Thailand, you always stop at a PTT. Yes, PTT are the best uh, services in Thailand. So uh, SO have upped their game a bit. I remember back in the day, I stopped for a, for a number one and they hadn't even put the pipes in in the urinals so I ended up with wet feet. I mean, it was, yeah, it was pretty primitive, but look at this. This is a service station. It's like a full blown market. There's some uh, bits and pieces over there. And uh, I don't know, we haven't done a toilet inspection for a while, but uh, I'm not sure if there's laws against it, to be honest, going into toilets with cameras. But the toilets in these places are great. I mean, look at the tiling. This is better than some of the tiling we've seen in the houses we, we visited. And look, at, look at the sinks. Fantastic. All right, I better, I better cut off here. I might get arrested. It's chaos. Right, what peanuts do I want? I usually go for the unsalted. There you go. Can't go wrong. That's all I want, peanuts. Look at this. I mean, this is why people love 7-Eleven. It's just everything you want. You've got crap in a bag, all sorts of things. Oh, it's like ages to get out of here. It's a nice little area around here. Yeah, it's starting raining. Bit of a shame. Anyway, let's see where we say see where she wants to go. So you're taking me to a cafe? Mm. Alright, let's get going. Can you show people your teeth or not? Oh look at that. <laughs> How much did they cost me? Your braces have come off. No, thirty. Thirty thousand? Maybe less. Really? Maybe. I've lost track. <laughs> I really? can't remember. We'll have to talk about that later. <laughs> Alright, let's get let's get going. Right. Where? The black triangle. The black triangle. Oh it looks quite cool, isn't it? That's an interesting design. Looks a bit more Nordic than the Nordic houses we've been looking at. There we go. Avalon. Avalon. Isn't that a song by Brian Ferry? I don't know. I do miss the 80s. I feel like I'm in the UK. Yeah. Isn't it? It's all green and... Uh... Let's have a look. Can we get in this way? Oh, this is probably for weddings and stuff, isn't it? It looks like a kind of place you can have. Uh, I'm not sure about the colour of the lake, but. Uh, it was blue. I think oh, it was blue. <laughs> they've redone it. Oh, they're redoing it and it's gone brown. Oh, th this was a waterfall. Yeah. Is that the waterfall? Yeah. So I can imagine. Very there might nice. Be a boat there as well. I'll pedalo down there. Yeah, I wouldn't like to take a dip in there now, though. But yeah, I can imagine if you have a wedding there and uh, water, a waterfall ago. and blue water. Yeah. Really? What it's happened like, then? It's like Switzerland filming. It is, it's very nice. And this is like in the middle of rice fields. You never know what you're going to find in, uh, in Thailand. It's kind of quite a place. I can see some like religious symbols or stained glass window type things over there. What have we got? We've got a bus station. 
Avalon land, glass house, white house. There we go. What have we got here? I saw some knights. There you go. Avalon. Yeah, fantastic. Oh, sorry, mate. He's doing a selfie in front of the toilet. Is it a toilet? Is this a toilet? Oh, I'm photo bombing this bloke. Very nice artwork. Huh. Oh, it's the toilets. Yeah, I was right. Look at that. Oh, it started raining here. It does feel like the UK, doesn't it? A bit cold and wet. Come on, let's go and get some food. Oh, this is the White House, is it? Look at that. I wonder if Dozy Biden's in there. Hey, what do you reckon? Ah. Interesting, interesting. I think this is for, uh, for if you've got large parties or something. I don't know. But we're only going to have something small, so we better not take up the White House. Yeah, this is like the, what is it? I've seen them walking down. What is it? The little, in, in the White House when they have the interviews. I can't remember, the Rose Garden or something. Similar to that. Okay. All right, let's get some food. <laughs> oh, very nice place. Yeah. So where should we go? You want to go upstairs? Or you want to, you want to come in here? Is it, what is upstairs? It's going to be wet though, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, so we might as well sit here. And we're going, we're going on the orange sofa. There you go, you've got all yeah. types of beef here. You've got your Thai yeah. beef, your Australian beef, Australian Wagyu, Japanese Wagyu. Oh, there's English menu. Yeah. <laughs> How much are there? Really? Bolognese sauce with red wine? Mm. Goodness me. You are taking me to the high so places, we are. <laughs> anyway, we've just put your university, haven't we? You're doing mm -hmm. online management. We just, yeah, we talked about it. Because Annie's actually been doing hustling a bit online and making some money and we just think everything's going to go online anyway. So it's a business degree but majoring in online management. And uh, one day you want to have your own companies online, whether it be teaching or whatever it is, sitting in Venice with a cup of coffee, St. Peter's Square or whatever, without having someone telling you what to do. So yeah, I know a lot of people say degrees aren't worth it these days, but I think you need a bit of paper. And it uh, sounds all right. So how much is it going to cost me? Uh, four years. No, not the meal. It probably will cost more than the university, actually. It's quite pricey. Four years. Bangkok University is 280,000 baht, which isn't too bad at all. But it's, that's the cheap bit. It's the living and uh, we've got to find you a place to stay. Yeah. And uh, then once you've got your online businesses going, you can get me that BMW. Yeah? All right, we're going for pizza, are we? I think so. All right, how much are they going for? 250, 260? See, I worked it out with the apartment at about, I don't know, a couple of hundred dollars a month and living and, and the fees should be about, I don't know, $20,000, I reckon. There's always extras, but uh, she's worth it. Now I had an interesting comment from someone who said their daughter who was half Thai like yourself, had blonde hair. I think he was Norwegian and they had issues. The school wanted them to dye the hair and they pulled her out of the school and she's had a lot of issues with racism. Have you ever had that in Thailand? In some schools, only some parts. Some parts of Thailand, I don't know. Yeah. On the teacher. Yeah, because I, I always thought, you, you know, half Thai kids were like, seen as soap stars almost. Like, you know, you, you were always treated very well. We've been very lucky. So uh, maybe outside of the big cities, yeah. Anyway, here it comes. What's this? Have you got coffees? Yeah, your teachers adored you. You were like a little superstar, remember? Yeah. Anyway, I think it's just luck of the jaw. Isn't he after about some of the stone? Yeah, he's the, he's the, he pulled the sword out, didn't he? The stone and became king, something like that. But uh, yeah, I didn't think we'd find Avalon in the middle of a rice field in Pistolo. That's for sure. You never know what you're going to find in Thailand. But it is, it's like going out in Somerset, isn't it? All rainy and murky. Be in the middle of Thailand. 
you've got Batman out there as well. Mixed in with the knights. There you go. But anyway, we'll give if the food's good, I'll leave the Google map link in the description. I'm gonna be a heathen. Dip it in the ketchup. There we go. <laughs> I'm I'm even more heathen. Mm. Using spoon and It's pretty good. The cheese is very stringy. Mm. I'm not sure it's cheese. Is it cheese? Mozzarella. Oh, it's a mozzarella. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty good. So we might be looking at some places for you to, to live in in the coming months, which will be exciting. Is it? It looks like that? Yeah. And that does look rather nice, doesn't it? It looks a bit different. So that, that, that's kind of what it looks like. Last time I came here, it was like that. Oh, really? Well, it looks like the sewage pipes opened up, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, very nice and lovely to see you. And uh, yes, we've got the Lonely Planet guy to thank. Oh dear, it's funny how life turns out, isn't it? Anyway, I've got to head back. We'll say bye bye. Oh, I mean, look at this. Hey, it really is like blighty. Yeah, just a bit different to the pictures you were showing me, sweetheart. <laughs> and now, when was that last week? Uh, a couple of months ago. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, it's really brown, isn't it? All right. All right, let's head back. All right, lovely to see you. See you. Bye bye, F. Take care. Yeah, see you soon, sweetheart. Love you. All right, well, that was a lovely day. Miserable weather. Well, nice weather, actually. It's going to be boiling hot soon. You are, right, mate. You're okay. I didn't get you any uh, a doggy bag or anything like that. But uh, yeah, I've been doing quite a lot of work around the house. I've been painting around the front there. The house itself is still all right. 20 years, the same paint. Now, people have been asking me about these the red tip trees and I've moved them to the front of the house. I've had a shuffle with the pots and I, I spoke to the woman because I bought some more. I've uh, sort of tidied this area up. Got a couple smaller ones there and even smaller ones in front of the garage. But she said if you, if you trim them, the new growth gets the red color. So, and I've given them a little bit of a trim and hopefully uh, we'll, get a, we'll get some red leaves. I didn't video any of the uh, the pot changing everything. I know I know a lot of you love me in my boxes. I might do a members only area for that. <laughs> Let's go check out Bob. And here he is. I might I might do some Bob t shirts as well. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, bit of a mess really. I haven't I haven't tidied up the garden much and looks like we've got more more rain coming in. Let's get inside. All right, nice day at Avalon um, with my lovely daughter. Would I eat there again? Uh, well, maybe not. It's, it's kind of these themed places. I've eaten there these kind of places a few times. And uh, the, the food is usually quite pricey and I can usually make it better myself, to be honest. So uh, the Thai food we didn't try, so that, that could be the possible, uh, possible way to go. But a nice place to stop off for a coffee and a little walk about. Uh, especially when the water's blue. Anyway, uh, yes, racism. Yeah, I've, I've had a few of these comments recently and I actually got sent a link to a video that I can't find. Um, it was a comment that was sent a while back. If anyone knows it, it was about racism uh, with uh, Lokrams or doubles, I like to call them, in Northeast Thailand. And I think it was a Thai documentary, I can't remember, but if anyone remembers that link, let me know. But on looking for that, I found another very interesting a uh, documentary uh, about Lokrams or doubles in Thailand. I'll leave a link to that down in the description. Uh, if you're thinking of having kids or you're maybe a, a double or Lokrung yourself, you might find it interesting. Uh, and on the university, well, I, I think it's quite a good idea. As I said in the video, I'd prefer Annie to be yeah, a digital nomad. Go around, visit the places she wants to visit in, in her life and go to the UK, visit her cousins and just take her her Mac PC with her and, and, and work, be your own boss. I think that's the way to go if you can. And I think youngsters these days have that opportunity, you know, with everything being online and uh, yeah, on the internet, all that sort of stuff. So hopefully she enjoys the course and I think that starts in June. So we'll see, hopefully they're back at university by then. Anyway, a bit of a slow one today. It's been a slow week. I've done a lot of just tidying up around the house and painting and jet wash the drive again, you might have noticed. So on that note, I say I hope you're all well, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.